Welcome to the lab on Insider. So you can see that we have Insider Office up on the screen here. So what this has to do with, if you recall in the lecture on perimeter security, one of the things that we talked about was rogue access points. So you can use Insider to discover any rogue access points that might be on your network. Now, if you recall what a rogue access point is, is an access point that somebody has put in your network. They basically just plugged it into an ethernet port on your network, as opposed to you as the network administrator authorizing and installing that access point. So here you can see all the access points or all the SSIDs uh, that are being picked up by my laptop here. So you can see that there's quite a few of them here. And we just go down the, the columns here. So this is the SSID of, of, the, of the device. Uh, you have a signal strength, the channel that it's on, the type of security, whether it's open or WPA2 personal uh, or whatever. Here's the MAC address of the access point. And here it tells you whether whether it's 802.11g or n. Here's a couple of n. Here's a g. And then it's going to try and, and figure out what the brand name of the access point is is the way it does that is it looks at the mac address the first half of the mac address is the oui which is unique to a particular vendor so it looks that up if it can and then tells you the the name of it so what we know is that netgear 94 and you notice when i highlight it it appears over here netgear 94 is an access point that i have installed and ringo is an access point that I have installed. So if you notice the way this appears, at the top you have the most the strongest signals and at the bottom you have the weaker signals. So let's take a look at signal strength and get an idea about that. So if you look at the signal strength here, they have a minus 45 for, for the and a minus 45 for both for both the Netgear and and Ringo. That is a very strong signal strength. These, the signal strength is in that they show here, the unit is dBm. So the way that works, it's basically the signal strength or the wattage the particular access point is, is putting out. And the lower the number, the, the stronger the signal. So minus 45 is a very, very strong signal. You, you're very rarely going to see anything below, say, minus 40. Now, FYI, these minus four, both of these access points are within five feet of me. So that's about the strongest signal that you're pretty much going to see. Now, if you look right here at Sasha's house, that's a minus 56. And... So that's weaker, but still relatively strong. And then you get the farthest away here is a minus 66. Those are the weakest signals. Now, the reason why I'm telling you about signal strength, what, what's going to happen is you're going to say, okay, there are two of these are my access points, but what are the rest of them? Either they belong to a neighbor or they could be a rogue access point. So if they have a high signal strength then they're very close to you. If they have a low signal strength or a high number, then they're far away from you. So minus 66, 65 is about the cutoff point where if you were receiving any less than that, it, it can't be used because the signal strength isn't strong enough. So very often you'll see, you're not seeing it right now, but you'll see like minus 80. If you see any of those, those are so weak that it's very unlikely it's in your building. So you probably don't have to worry about them. But anything that's, that's say, 60 or, or lower is pretty close to you. So you better figure that that could be in your building. So what you're going to do is basically walk around. So... I happen to know that these are not in my building because uh, I have a home office here. Uh, 
But let's say that you wanted to see this legend trail guest. So you could highlight that and you can see that you can actually watch this as you walk around with your laptop to see as you're getting, the number will get lower as you get closer to it. Lower was the strongest signal. So you can actually nail down where these are by walking around with your laptop and watching the signal get stronger or weaker as you walk by. So what you need to do is determine if any of these are actually in your area or on your network by walking around. But this at least gives you all of the laptops that are around, and then it's up to you to say, okay, these are mine, and these other ones are my neighbors, and potentially here is one that somebody has just installed. I'll show you one more thing here. So if we look at, this is my wireless access point. So if you look here on, on Amazon, that's $22. And you can see what this thing looks like a little bit. So the reason why I'm showing you this is anyone with $22 and the tiniest bit of technical experience could just plug that, that right into an Ethernet port and then use that as a wireless access point. It's, it's a door into your network. So you definitely want to get rid of that. So the most common situation you're going to find is that somebody that works for your company has actually installed this without really thinking too much about it, just for the convenience of it. Of course, there's also the possible situation where a black hat actually came into your office one time, you know, as a, vis as a visitor or something and installed that. That is the end of this lab. Thank you very much for watching.